Hey guys, before we get started, we had some troubles with the audio with these videos, and we were super happy we got the guest technique by Andy, and we weren't ready to discard all of the all of the techniques, so we chose to do a voiceover. I hope everything is clear, and if you have any questions regarding technique or anything whatsoever, let us know in the comments. Hi there, and welcome back to our channel. My name is Tum Energia, Energia Martial Arts, and today I have a very special guest. Andy Peters is going to show us some very nice techniques today. Andy is uh, obviously the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt uh, Gracie Barra in, in the Netherlands. But besides that, he has martial arts experience starting from Taekwondo to Capoeira, kickboxing, MMA, uh, lots of martial arts experience there. He also has his own YouTube channel, Evolve Movement and Health. Be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, he's going to show us a cool technique today that he likes to use a lot, setting up the back take from a turtle. I'm not going to spoil too much, but it involves choking me with one hand, so that's super cool. <laughs> not going to say any more. Let's get to it, and thank you so much for watching. Uis. Okay, guys, so we're going to show you how to take the back, and we're going to show you uh, from the turtle position. So it happens a lot, you're passing the guard, uh, they don't want to uh, get their guards passed, so they're gonna go to the turtle. So first off, the positioning, I'm not gonna be too much to the front. I'm gonna uh, put my knee behind his knee, connect to his leg. Now let me show you first from the side, can you turn a little bit? Yeah, like this. So I will be somewhere around here, behind his knee, connecting to the body, and then I'm going to be looking for a grip, a uh, shallow grip, uh, on the inside of the hip. So try to uh, make a blade with your hand, try to get inside because usually they're gonna make themselves uh, small and, and try to hide so there's no space. So make a blade, bring inside, not too deep so he can't pull me over. So I want to uh, keep pulling towards me a little bit and don't overcommit to this side because he's gonna pull me over and then I'm gonna lose position. So you don't want that, okay? So like this, dig in a little bit, then from here, I can use my second hand. Now, if he's very tight, don't be too friendly, make a fist, try to grind inside the neck here, and then make a seat belt. So I'm going inside, digging, getting the seat belt. Okay, so if I have the seat belt, try to stay tight with your chest, okay? So maybe sometimes for the explanation, I'll lift my head, but usually try to stay tight. If you have the seat belt, the next step is entering this knee. I want this knee to grind inside here. So, same story. He's not going to give the space too easy, so you're going to have to work for it. So, I'm going to try to grind my knee, wiggle my knee inside, and I'm going to make my knee point in that direction, facing his feet. Okay? So, once I have the seat belt, I'm going to turn my body. So, I'm going to drive my knee inside and facing his feet. Now, once I have that control, I'm gonna lean a bit behind his backside to raise his hip. That makes it easier for me to get my right foot on the inside of his foot. I'm gonna try and look for the foot. And once I get my foot inside, I'm gonna pull the heel outside and I'm going to push my shin in. Now, as soon as I do that, I pull them all the way over and I get my bottom hook. So I'm gonna show you from a different angle. So from here, we have the seat belt. I'm gonna drive the knee in, face towards his feet. I'm gonna lift his hip a little bit by leaning back, and I'm gonna try and bring my foot in between his legs. I'm gonna look for the center position, so I have the near foot of my partner Tim here. I'm gonna pull my heel towards my hip, and I'm going to shove the other leg forward. So I'll pull him to my side, I'm going to do it all simultaneously. Kick my bottom leg out so I get the bottom hook. So that's a detail you need to focus on. Get the bottom hook. So if I have the bottom hook, it's hard for him to escape. So usually the guy is going to make himself small because he doesn't want me to enter the second hook too easily. So what you'll do, you're going to keep your seat belt tight and you're going to hook your legs on the outside of his leg. Now to put your knee on top of his hip and squeeze, so you're pinching. Then at the same time, I'm going to extend my body to get space for a second hook. 
So once again, he's small. And whilst I'm extending my body, I'm trying to attack the neck. So I'm gonna grab his hand, pull it away, and grab behind his shoulder blade to get the choke grip. So from the seatbelt position, I'll try to do everything simultaneously. Extend him, catch my hook, and start setting up my choke. So if he's late or not defending the choke, I can grab behind the shoulder, put my head on top of his hand. It makes it hard for him to pull my hand back. And we're going to push my chest forward against his back. And in this case, I'm gonna pull my left elbow backwards, engaging my lats and squeezing my bicep together. Squeeze and pull to get the tap. And you don't necessarily have to get the traditional finish with the figure four. So you can choke the guy just with one arm. Slide through, cup the shoulder, lock up, and squeeze your biceps. Pull back and blow up your chest. A small variation could be to grab behind your own neck. So I'm grabbing my neck to make for more flexed elbow, so my biceps is already engaged. It's hard for him to clear this grip, and I can do the same thing. Open up my chest, pull the elbow in, and get a nice choke. Okay. So we're gonna check it out one more time so you can see the motion with the feet and the finish. So I slide in, make a fist, grind in, and get a seatbelt grip. Don't stay here too long. Turn your hips, dig in the knee, and lift his hip. I try to catch his foot and I pull his heel and my heel backwards. Extend the bottom leg and get the hook in. He's usually gonna make himself very small. So from here, I'm going to squeeze my knees together, pinching. I extend and at the same time, take away his hand and attack the neck. So once I'm here, I can immediately try to squeeze and get the choke. or go for the traditional rear naked choke grip to the regular grip. So a quick thing to show you here. So a detail to get the back is that I'm going to open up his heel with my foot and I'm going to drive his knee inside with my bottom leg knee. So if I drive the knee and open the foot and with my body, I pull him there, he's going to fall. So these are actually the mechanics that make us successful at exposing his back. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time without the whole instruction. Back take, uh, choking with one arm. Hope you guys like. <laughs> Trust me guys, it's a very nice choke. As Andy said, you don't need two hands. The one arm is uh, pretty tight enough. It might be pretty hard to see in the video, but especially as soon as Andy starts expanding his chest, engaging, uh, so he has the hook, uh, sorry, the, the grip for the choke, and he starts stretching out and he actually puffs up his chest. That makes his face so tight, immediately puts so much pressure on the choke. So uh, <clears throat> thank you so much, Andy. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, be sure to check out Andy's channel, Evolve Movement and Health. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description. He has some awesome jiu-jitsu videos, techniques, but also some stuff considering movement. So he has so much information on his, uh, on his gym and on his channel. Uh, check it out. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.